Hey, what's up everyone? This is Minnesota Mike back with you for another video. This is another one in my vlog series that I do through the Memphis Songwriters Association in conjunction with the blog that I write for them every other week. So we always talk in my blog and vlog and all of that about uh, songwriting, what has worked for various artists over the years, um, and what can work for you as a writer as well. In this past blog and vlog, we've been talking about rhyme scheme. So we last time talked about ABAB rhyme scheme or alternate rhyme. And in this particular rhyme scheme, every other line rhymes. The first line rhymes with the third line, while the second line rhymes with the fourth line. We looked at Sarah by Bob Dylan from his 1976 album Desire. We also talked about AAB, AAB rhyme scheme. And in that one, the first two lines rhyme. Then you have a standalone rhyme. Then you have two more lines that rhyme. And that's followed by another line that rhymes with the standalone rhyme from earlier. And for that one, we looked at All I Wanted Was a Car by Brad Paisley. So for this third one, we're going to look at AABB rhyme scheme. And in this one, the first two lines rhyme with each other and the last two lines also rhyme with each other. We're going to look at Monday Morning Church, an Alan Jackson song written by Aaron Enderlin and Brett, Brent Baxter. Excuse me. The lyrics were written by Brent Baxter, and they were based on a line that his mom used. The melody was written by Aaron Enderlin, who had just lost a friend in a car accident, and related deeply to the lyrics. In a previous vlog, I talked about how when you use a metaphor, sometimes you don't want to be fixated on it for the whole song, as it would begin to lose its meaning. Semantic satiation, for those of you playing along at home. Here, the song opens up with a stanza rich with religious undertones. You left your Bible on the dresser, so I put it in the drawer, because I can't seem to talk to God without yelling anymore. And when I sit at your piano, I almost hear those hymns. The keys are just collecting dust, but I can't close the lid. Although the lyrics to Sarah take on a sad, wistful tone, there's a sense of tension that needs to get out within that song. Hence why the rhyme scheme works so well. In Monday Morning Church, those lyrics are just flat out sad. So having the AABB rhyme scheme, which is prevalent throughout all parts of the song, expresses that unchanging sadness. In other words, this particular rhyme scheme would not have worked for Sarah, which we looked at earlier, or All I Wanted Was a Car. Those are two very different songs, three very different songs, really. And so uh, you want to do what's right for the song. And Brent certainly did that here. So this particular song uh, melodically contains a violin and piano, as well as very light drums and a pedal steel guitar. In the Alan Jackson recording, uh, that's in the key of E, and the chords in the first half of the verse are E, A, E, G sharp, F sharp minor, B sus 4 to B, and then the second half of the verse goes E, F sharp minor, E, slash G sharp, A, B sus 4 to B. In the key of E, the uh, F sharp minor is the two chord, which is alternated with the four chord, and that's A. Both the F sharp minor two chord and the A five chords function as subdominant in the key of E. B is the dominant five chord, which ends the section in the verse, but the B sus 4 five suspended fourth chord adds to the feeling of loss by adding ambiguity to the melody. This is supported by the slow tempo of the song, which sets a somber tone to match the lyrics and the rhyme scheme. So structurally, this particular song follows a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, ending format. The ending is the first line. You left your Bible on the dresser, so I put it in the drawer. Of note, not finishing the line the way it did in the first verse bugged me at first, but the whole point of this song is to express frustration over a lack of closure. So it makes sense that the lyrics lack closure as well. So Monday Morning Church is linked below. Uh, Alan Jackson's version you will see first, and then uh, Aaron Enderlin's version is uh, also linked below. Uh, she does a great version of it, uh, and it's her song, so, you know, 
hope so. Um, but uh, she just does a fabulous job, and so it's definitely worth listening to both. Uh, next time, we are going to be focusing on the AABBA rhyme scheme, uh, also known as limerick meter. Um, so we're going to chat about that and uh, make sure that you tune in for that particular video. As always, I'm Minnesota Mike. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and you can catch my other videos uh, on uh, YouTube and all of that. And then if you're interested, uh, you can read my blog through the Memphis Songwriters Association website, memphissongwriters.org, memphissongwritersassociation.org, excuse me. Thank you so much for listening. Once again, I'm Minnesota Mike.